So welcome to this tutorial. I think that this tutorial will be our last uh, video because we will be finishing this project and uh, we have almost done all the code but now we will need uh, to finish the core, uh, the core of this project that is the car controller and we will use the DNA, the neural networks and all that stuff and also uh, the camera movement and then uh, we will be modifying the parameters uh, for you to to play with the simulation and change uh, some variables so uh, as you know um, we need to create new population so for example if we have this this track okay and this is our start place we'll need to uh, initialize all the cars in this position we'll have a population of cars and we'll need to create here uh, the first population uh, will be random so uh, we will need to add a uh, and dna a uh, random DNA to each car and our neural network will be also random almost but when we are in the second population or more more than or equal to second for a generation of population uh, we will need to get the winner and the second winner and uh, we will do all the DNA operations like the mutation, the crossover and all that stuff. So now we'll put into practice. In the previous in the previous tutorial uh, we create um, all the classes and now uh, here in the car controller uh, we create a little bit something but here we'll need to remove this okay and also uh, we'll need to create some other variables that will be the car that we want to copy that is our model car as we can say we'll need to put this in public also we'll need to put height in inspector and uh, here we'll put the second winner and the winner and finally we'll need to create a private to know the cars that we have created. So here uh, we'll need to create a very important function that will be uh, the new population. Also uh, we'll need to create another function with the same name and we'll put a boolean uh, as parameter for knowing if we are using genetic manipulation and then uh, we'll need to put a method to restart the generation and here we'll need to put a uh, cars.clear and create a new population and here in the start we'll need also to create the population perfect so now um, here uh, we have created also the return method for getting cars and in the population here we'll need to do the random population because it's our first population so we'll need to put the game objects uh, initialize all everything and go uh, through all the the population that we have created no I think that that we haven't created yet so here we'll need to put population and generation that are the two important uh, things we, we need to do so here I uh, will need to put the population that we want to create all the cars so game object car obj and here we will need to instantiate our model car 
that is this card and we'll uh, clone this, this card that we'll put in the Unity Editor as prefab we'll add to the card and we'll need to add to get the component of the card and initialize it and then here we'll need to add the generation plus plus and we'll do the book dot log and we'll put the generation and then in the other method that is the new population we'll need to put here if apply apply a the genetic manipulation we'll need to do some things that are in common with the other a method that is to create the list because we will need to clear the list and create a new one and then the same for all the population but here it will change because we'll do all the manipulation we'll need to put the crossover of the winner with the second winner then the mutation, so we we'll need to create the DNA of mutation and mutate this crossover uh, DNA. We can print this, but we won't do it. So uh, we'll create the instantiate car that will be our model car. And here we'll add a this card to our array of cards and then we need to dot get component in the kopg and do the same but we will initialize the neural network here we have randomly initialized but here we'll initialize with some weights that will be our mutated weights and here also we'll need to put generation plus plus and we'll put the cars created equals to zero also I uh, will need to uh, follow follow a car okay to start so we'll put dot find and here we'll put the camera dot get component and here camera follow that is the movement and here we need to follow for example the car in position zero perfect so we have finished all, almost all the code and now we need to go to to the car And here uh, we will need to put the new generation. Thus, as you know, is new population AI. So we will need to put game object to find car controller. That to simplify this, we'll put controller. And here we'll need to uh, create the population that is new population but we won't do it in a random way because we will put here true because we want to uh, genetic uh, manipulate uh, the genes to create better candidates for the future generations and we'll do this when the cars is equal to one so we have the last car and has collided because it has collided here And now uh, you you should edit some things uh, because there are some books that we have been done during the the tutorials. These are important, so make make sure uh, you you solve them. The first is that here we need to put minus one because uh, this is the neurons dot count that is three, for example, and uh, it starts from the position zero. So we need to one unit to it. Also you need to make sure that 
this number is the same as this number because the lasers are the inputs for the neural network. So uh, we can put, for example, here 5. So go here to inputs and put 5. Also, in the Unity editor, we will need to do some things that are the first, put a scale, the, the car a little bit less, for example this, move it a little bit because this will be the position. And also you need to go to the car controller and do a car AI to here. I have done it, but you need to do it. Also, uh, you need to do in the car AI, uh, you need to act, uh, add the boss collider, okay, to the car AI. And finally, in the latter, when we put the get distance, I have corrected this because uh, this, it was uh, like this, but you need to put uh, the, to the distance, the max distance, okay, because that is this, okay, because we want a value between 0 and 1. So this is the max distance and this is the current distance, so we make sure this is, this is like this. So then, when you run it, you will see that this is working fine, okay? You can change from this to this, and also uh, you can also uh, do the track uh, a bit better. I have expanded the track, and um, have also uh, some things to do. The first is, uh, this is the sensibility of the rotation, so uh, you can play with this value and it is the speed of of the car. Uh, as most speed it has, it will be more difficult to for the car to, to move. And then uh, you need to know also that uh, you need to drag this to here and we'll need to remove this that was the previous delete and then we go to here, we'll put this as not active and in the controller, uh, we'll need to remove this controller because we are not using it. And in the car controller, that is this, we'll need to drag the car AI and put here. As I said, uh, you can modify a lot of parameters. Uh, for example, here uh, you have these parameters. Uh, you can copy my parameters or they're changing yourself. In the neural network, I choose one layer, hidden layer of size 10, two outputs, five inputs, and the max initial value of five. As I said, you can put whatever you want. This is the angle of degrees, you can choose whatever you want. The color of the beam, the distance. the rotation of the camera, whatever you want. Generation, so you can go to here, to the code, and here, uh, you will be able, uh, don't change this, you need to go to your prefab, that is this, and here you can change uh, the rest of the variables. I put here 50, 10, uh, 0 0.5, the distance 20, and you can put whatever you want. So here you can see how it works, it is working fine, and then you can improve, I don't put all the code because it's a lot of code to make this intelligent, as you can see here, there are more and more and more, you can do whatever you want, uh, whatever track. So thank you for seeing my videos, uh, I have finished this tutorial and if you like it, please uh, put me on comments and I will create similar new tutorials that uh, are also interesting for you. Thanks.